Hi guys and welcome to 123 Maya T's video on how to create a Windows 7 or Windows 8 USB on a Mac. Okay guys, so um, there's a few people have asked me uh, in the channel and also on the 123 Maya T website um, how do we create a bootable Windows USB with, with, the, with the Windows file, Windows 8 or Windows 7 um, on a Mac. Okay, so there is a way to do it. You do it. You need to do it through boot camp. Um, if you go into disk utility, there's no way to format your USB drive with NTFS. So to do it, you need to actually go into, into boot camp. And I'll show you how to do it here. So if we go into our finder and type in boot camp, boot camp assistant is the one we want. All right. Now, if we just go continue, and then as you can see guys, you've actually got create a Windows 7 or later in uh, version install disk, okay? You need a USB flash drive and Windows 7 or later version ISO image, which is what I have here, I've got the Windows blue. You may not have this checkbox, or you, you may not have this option available. Um, so what you need to do is just close out of your boot camp assistant, just quit that one. Go into go, and then go to utilities, find your boot camp, right click on it and go sh to show package contents. All right, and we wanna go into contents again. Okay, we wanna copy this file here, this info P list. So copy it and just paste it to your desktop. All right, now I've already made a copy here. What you can do, you can actually just go right click and duplicate. Okay, before you make any changes, and then that way you know that this is the older version of this file here. So if we if we break anything, we can always just put this one back in here. Okay, so we want to open this one up. All right, now in Boot Camp to get that checkbox, um, what I actually needed to do for this version of Mac OS X uh, ten point eight point five, I needed to go into here. I needed to scroll down to where it says uh, USB boot support models, and I needed to actually delete this part out, so delete out pre, okay? And then I saved it, or I just closed it like that. You can open it up again and make sure that it that it saved your changes. Let's go down to where it was again. All right, so pre-USB is gone, so we saved it, save the changes, all right? And then what you can do is just copy this one and copy it back into here. All right, and just go replace. You need to pop in your password there, so pop that in. Okay, and then when you run Boot Camp again, you run the Boot Camp Assistant, hit Continue, uh, take that Remove off, hit Create a Windows 7, hit Next and bang, you've got your create a, a bootable USB drive for Windows installation. Now, um, I'm using an older version of OS X. Uh, I think this is Lion, or it could be Mountain Lion. Um, in this case, it doesn't actually, it has picked up the, the uh, Windows ISO, and you can get this ISO from the 123myit.com website under downloads. Um, and it's also picked up the USB that it wants to copy it to, but when I hit continue, okay, it says your beautiful USB drive could not be created. Boot camp only, uh, boot camp only supports Windows 7 installation on this platform. Okay, so what that means is that uh, on on this particular version of um, OS X, I can only install Windows 7. All right, um, so what you'll need to do is to, uh, upgrade to something like Mavericks. Um, and then try this again and then it should be okay then. Uh, the other thing that, you, that I also tried guys, and this may work for, for some of you, and, um, if we open this up again, all right, and we can see here how it's got the supported models, okay? So what we wanna do It's also got our supported models here, USB supported models, okay? Now, I've just changed this before, I'll show you. If you go into uh, your Apple and go into about this Mac and just, we'll look up 
uh, uh, what version of Mac I actually am running here. So we need to go into System Report. Okay, and that brings it up. So here, here it is. It says Mac seven uh, comma one. So what I actually needed to do as well is in this uh, info p list. I actually needed to change this section here. All right, to a, a comma one. So if we did that for that one, did it for that one. All right, so you get the idea, guys. You change that over um, uh, for all of them. All right, save it again. Make sure you're only using this one on your desktop. Save it again, and then copy it into this, this area here. Okay, so I'll right click copy and right click paste. Okay, and then you should be right to go, guys. Now I'm going to also do a, a um, tutorial just with Mavericks and see if it's the same process with Mavericks. So I will upgrade this uh, um, version of OSX that I've got here to Mavericks and then try running, uh, try uh, creating a Windows 8 USB uh, stick from that and uh, I will, I will uh, update this video. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Um, if it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.